Spain, where the glamour men of sport are the bullfighters, brave and stylish, their timing is central to avoid serious injury. But less controversially, there are other sportsmen with their own brand of courage and elegance. Olaf Harbour, the inspiration of Severiano Ballesteros, winner of 54 Volvo II titles, Dur, determined Jose Rivero, and young Ignacio Garrido. All they want to do is kill the golf course in the 1995 Persia Open de España. So far this season, the Volvo Tour has visited Spain five times. We've been in Barcelona, Valencia, Girona, Islantia, and Palma de Mallorca. But for the first time in 1995, we're in Madrid at the Club de Campo, part of the massive Via de Madrid, close to the city centre. The course at Club de Campo, one of several well established in the city, is lined with small cork trees. And it's hilly was at one point being considered as a potential Ryder Cup venue, although changing would have had to be made. The course is 6,928 yards long and a par 72. Four years ago, Seve Ballester shot a 63, and he shared the Johnny Walker course record prize with the Argentinian golfer Eduardo Romero, which means nothing worse than 62 can win the 3,000 pounds jackpot this time. Last year, Colin Montgomery won from Mark McNulty, Mark Rowe and Richard Boxall and went on to finish number one for the second year running in Europe. In 1994, Londoner Peter Mitchell finished 14th, but he clearly likes the Club de Campo, especially when the sun is shining. He led on day one with a 66, a round that included for the second time in his career three eagles. On day two, Mitchell, a former winner of the Austrian Open, had been joined at the top of the leaderboard by 23-year-old Spaniard Ignacio Garrido. His father, Antonio, went to the Club de Campo caddy school, the four-turning pro. It was an important week, too, for the consistent German Bernard Lange. He made the halfway cut to equal veteran Neil Cole's record of 56 consecutive cuts on tour. At the PGA Championship at Wentworth, next stop on the Volvo Tour, he is odds-on to set a new record. But at Club de Campo, it was Seve they came to watch. On the first two days, he was paired with his Ryder Cup colleague, Jose Maria Lafaro, and I'd shown him. At halfway, Seve, on 137, led Olathabal by seven. The expected duel did not materialize. Seve was in majestic form, although he said his confidence was low. He did point out, however, that many of his victories had been scored when his confidence wasn't at its best. Even when Seve got into trouble, he was always ready to produce one of those magical recoveries. After a third round 66 with eight birdies, he led for a time in the clubhouse on 1-3-3. But Scotland's Gordon Brand Jr. spoiled it for him, holding this birdie putt on the last for 65 and 1-3-2. So with a round to go, Brand Jr. in the lead on 2-0-2 by one from Ballesteros, Rowe Mitchell on 2-0-6, Garrido Townsend 2-0-7. Bernard Langer, 6 under, 2-10. Langer, two-time winner of the title, like Ballesteros, who had won in 1981 and 1985. The weather had been brilliant all week. There was no change on the final day, so hot, in fact, that one of the electric buggies caught fire. But everything was set for a great final round in which Ballesteros was attempting to win the title for the third time, but for the first time in Madrid. Joining me in commentary, Warren Humphreys. And from the elevated tee on the first hole, Seve out with the metal wood, with that wry grin there. He knows that ball has sailed away right and into the trees. Very narrow fairway, this opening hole. Considerable drop down towards the fairway. And the overhanging trees make it extremely narrow as Brand Jr. 
of Scotland tees off as well. Former winners, including Nick Faldo back in 1987, Langer for the second time in 89, Neil Kim Hepkin in 1993, that helped him into the Ryder Cup that year. Sevy in trouble right away. And you can see no real shot there. Couldn't really get the ball up in the air. And has driven it low along the ground, just back onto the fairway. And not the sort of start that he wanted. Familiar swing of Gordon Brand Jr. And a tough opening hole, this, 467 yards, and that a good longish iron by Brand. For over four years, uh, Seve Byster has used the caddy Billy Foster, who had formerly worked for Gordon Brand Jr. Foster's back with Brand Jr. this week. Seve's got his new caddy, Joey Jones. Well, he's got that for par. That to avoid dropping a shot. This, though, for a birdie for Brand Jr., taking the putter from just off the edge of the green. And a little bit shy. Brand Jr. languishing down on the order of merit list in 87th place, so looking for a good performance this week to boost his Ryder Cup chances. Tied ninth in the Canary Islands behind uh, one at Jumbo Sandlin. That an event which uh, Severiano Ballesteros very nearly won. Sandlin pipping him at the post. That's a drop shot. Seve immediately two behind. Well, first round leader uh, Peter Mitchell didn't begin too well. He began with uh, three bogeys in a row, moving from ten under back to seven. He did birdie the fourth. This his second to the sixth. Meters, 441 yards. Rivero, fourth shot on the seventh. That's his third birdie of the day. Birdie the first and the fifth. Did drop a shot at the third, but he's moved to ten under. And the familiar putting style of Bernard Langer on the ninth. And that ball didn't need much more for it to roll into the hole. Had a tricky par three that ninth. The ball on the lower level of uh, the green today. There are two levels. And back on the sixth, Peter Mitchell. This for a birdie. Bobbled a bit. Bit of thatch on those greens. <laughs> How is that staying out? Well, Sevi Ballesteros dropped a shot at the second, and uh, he's missed the green here at the short third. It's 207 yards, very narrow green, this third hole. Sevi pulling it away into the trees, and that's not the sort of standard shot that we expect from Ballesteros around the greens. Ignacio Garrido at the seventh for an eagle. <laughs> And he's uh, as unlucky as Mitchell was at the sixth. Garrido, who dropped a shot at the short third, but Birdie at the fourth, and, uh, well, that's a tap in Birdie at the seventh, which will move him to ten under par. So young Garrido, who had his crises yesterday in the third round, staying with the stars, staying with the leaders. Back on the third, Ballesteros, his par putt. And that one's dribbled away to the right and short. And, well, you could have put everything on it that Ballesteros would start better than that, but that's three bogeys in a row for him. So we're back on ten under par. Rivero for a birdie at the eighth. Rivero second to Sam Torrance in the Italian Open. Putting well then and putting well today as well. Peter Becker is having a good last round. Four birdies 
already today, but putting here for par at the ninth. Oh. Out in 33, but he too is 10 under par. If you get on the wrong level at that ninth green, if you get on the level on which the pin is not cut, it is very tough indeed. Gordon Brand Jr. on the third, started with two pars. That also for a par. But now he's going to have to settle for a bogey. And he'll move back down to 13 under. If he can tap this one in, and this is no gimme. Hunter was saying earlier, a little bit of thatch on these greens makes the ball just a little bit slower on the greens. Have to hit it quite confidently from short range. So Gordon Brand Jr. is back on 13 under. He's still got a three-shot cushion over five players. Baker, Garrido, Rivero, Townsend, Seve, Baisters. Welcome back. Well, Severiano Ballesteros, after his somewhat hesitant start, three bogeys in a row, recovered at the fourth, splashing out of the bunker to make sure of a birdie, which got him to 11 under par. He needed something like that at that stage in the, the round to just to give him a little bit more confidence. Gordon Brand Jr., who dropped that shot at the third, dropped another at the fifth. He slipped back to 12 under. Garrido, after his birdie at the seventh, birdied the eighth. This is tee shot at the ninth, and a very good one, but no birdie for him. He would miss that putt and turn at 11 under. Brand Jr., meanwhile, had got his first birdie of the day at the seventh, and then produced this fine second shot up the hill to the eighth. A chance for the Scot, whose last victory was the 1993 European Open, to go three ahead that a bad miss so after eight Gordon Brand Jr. still on 13 under leading by two from Rivero Garrido Jay Townsend from the United States and Ballesteros lurking menacingly as we rejoin the action with Brand Jr. on the tee at the ninth well Gordon will certainly have to put that short putt missed on the last hole out of his mind doesn't want to let that affect his confidence and that just needs to move down the plateau a little bit. Well, it looks a good shot, but it's going to be a very tricky putt from there. And hands on hips, he knows what's coming up. Uh, can Sevi go one better? His balance looks better than last week. And that's in the right place. And it's very tricky par three, so a good opportunity there for Ballesteros to make another birdie. Just had four pars in a row as uh, Garrido here at the 11th, trying to save his par. Garrido parred the 10th. And that putting stroke remaining firm and strong. And the young man is coping with the pressure well. Now, this putt, I don't know exactly what the line is, uh, Warren, but it's, it's a tough one. It being a long way left, just needs to get it to the top of the slope. Now and it goes. And on, and on, and on. And as we were mentioning earlier, that's quite a tough putt when there is a little bit of thatch on the green. You had to hit it hard enough to get it to the edge of the slope for it to turn right. And just misgaged it. Well, there could be a two-shot swing here if this one goes in. Not quite. So we will tap in for his par. And he goes through the turn on 11 under. And uh, Ryan Jr. has this to stay two in front. And how easily things can turn. Had a chance on the previous hole to go three ahead. Now it's just one. And all down to the putter. So just that one shot uh, lead with nine holes to play. Some would say the most important nine. 
Peter Baker dropped a couple of shots, but he has this for an eagle at the 12th. <laughs> Four birdies and five holes on the out of nine before he dropped a shot at the ninth. We saw that. Dropped another at the 11th, but that eagle putting him to 11 under par with Rivero, Garrido and Ballesteros. One behind Brand Jr. Townsend has also dropped a shot. He's back on 10 under. And another eagle putt coming up from Jose Rivero. Reachable par five, this, 477 yards, but a tight entrance to the green, quite narrow. That would have given him the lead on 13 under. His tap-in will tie him with Brand Jr. Seve at the 10th. Dogleg par four. Hit it onto the left-hand side of the fairway to open up the green. And this hole on a plateau on a ridge, and that's a fine attacking shot by Ballesteros. Could give him a share of the lead if he manages to roll the putt in. Gordon Brown Jr. now from uh, a better position, right in the middle of the fairway. Hardly any wind there. No, not much wind, but this man enjoys a tussle. He's a good match play player. And that's not where he wanted to go. Through the green on the cart path, and that's going to be wicked. And he knows it. Suddenly, problems for Gordon Brand Jr. As up ahead, Ignacio Garrito for an eagle, which could move him into the lead on 13 under. Reachable par five. Most players making birdies. Well, he's got that to. Tyre Rivero and Brand Jr. in the lead. And here is Brand Jr. with this awkward shot. He's out with the pitching wedge. Hands forward, has to make contact with the ball first, and that looks to be very good. But just a bit short, that ball could have done with rolling out. Pitched it onto the fringe grass, hoping it to hop over the bank. With Rivero, joint leader, second shot. Oh, just missing that bunker, but then running on down towards the pin and giving himself a birdie chance. As on 10, Seve goes for his three. This for a slice of the lead. Groans when Seve misses. Huge cheers when he does something that pleases the crowd and on the 12th another eagle opportunity this time from Jay Townsend and has he hit it mm, and that just bobbing away on the right hand side and really this 12th hole almost a par four for these players and stay in front. Well, he's been unlucky with the putt on the last couple of greens and that stayed with him. And he has lost his share of the lead. He's back on 11 under par. And Jose Rivero is ahead on 12. And could go to 13. And here is Rivero. Had a couple of opportunities last year to win, and the putter let him down. And that one he gave a fierce dig to. Coming down the slope, call a big piece of the hole, but very fast. Garrido to tie Rivero. On 12 under. Well, his father, Antonio, for whom he used to caddy, must be delighted with him today. Antonio, a former winner of this championship. As uh, ahead on 13, Rivero stays on 12 under. So two Spaniards in the lead, but uh, not Seve. Rivero and Garrido. Peter Baker on 11 under with Townsend and uh, Seve Ballesteros and Brand Jr. One shot separating six at the top of the leaderboard and Gordon Brand Jr. in trouble again, now at 11. And on 14, Peter Baker, his second shot. 
to this par five, 537 yards. Oh, and that just catching the right-hand bunker, trying to draw it in off the right-hand side to get a kick in towards the flagstick. And that wasn't far offline. Another one of these awful chip and runs for Ran Jr. And that very nearly hit the flag. And he's faced with another one of those. And he's not coped with too well today. It's anybody's title here in Madrid this afternoon. And this man's composure is tremendous to watch. Ball bobbling a bit. He's got a tough putt coming back. Sevy for a birdie. Sevy to join the leaders. And you've got to get it up to the hole. Missing his par there. He's been in trouble at this hole, so the young man from uh, Florida will drop a shot. Brand Jr. for his par on 11, and that's sliding by the other side. Drop shot, drop shot, drop shot in the last three holes. As Baker makes a birdie, and he moves to 12 under, and now he's in the, the lead with Rivero and Garrido. Could we have an Englishman winning the title ahead of the Spaniards? Tricky putt for Ballesteros. Across the slope a little bit. Confidently in. Still very dangerous, Warren. And he's got the 12th hole coming up. Reachable par five. Ignacio Garrido's uncle is the club professional at Club de Campo. And Ignacio has played this course probably more than anyone else in the field, so he probably knows the lines of these putts better than anyone else. That was a good par putt that keeps him on 12 under. Rand Jr. short putt for his bogey. Three shots dropped in three holes. And his challenge slips. Three players in the lead on 12 under. Seve just one behind. Townsend Mitchell and Gordon Brand Jr. on 10 under. Long iron for Seve on the 12th. And he's gone right at the flagstick and he has to be careful. Trees on the left, very close to the edge of the green. And he's just faded that away down to the right hand side, but it's an eagle opportunity. The only Spaniard uh, since 1981 to win the title. Brand Jr. from the white semi-rough. Open the green up, coming from that side. But he needs something good to regain his composure, and that's pretty good. Gordon Brand Jr., who I'm sure Donald Gallagher would like to have in his Ryder Cup team as uh, Baker for a birdie there at 15. That would have given him the clear lead. Good to see Baker back in form. He played so well in the 1993 Ryder Cup with Ian Woosman. Yes, good mental approach, as has this man. Both like the heat of the action. This for the lead. Oh. Well, my word, how did that ball not go in the hole? Well... <laughs> Well, if he puts his shadow over it, then it still might go in. No, no wasting time. It's a four-way tie at the top of the leaderboard. Seve joins his two Spanish colleagues and Baker on 12 under. You can see that he senses something's in the air. Brand Jr.'s eagle putt finished there. This for a birdie. He needed that. And he moves to 11 under. So despite those drop shots around the turn, Gordon Brand Jr. still right in there chasing the first prize of over 91,000 pounds. Eight players separated by just two shots, but three Spaniards going for the title in Madrid. Join us again after the break. The golf fans enjoying a play here on a sunny afternoon in Madrid, certainly getting their money's worth in the final round of the Persia Spanish Open. 
who's going to win eight potential winners, one of them Jose Rivero, bunkered off the tee at 15, and bunkered by the green. But he'll get up and down and save his part, and he'll remain at 12 under. But Ignacio Garrido makes a mess off the par 5 14th, a hole he would have been looking to birdie. He drops a shot. And Peter Baker at the 16th bogey. Baker and Garrido slip off that leaderboard into second place, leaving uh, Rivero and Ballesteros on 12 under out in front. We'll rejoin Seve at the 14th. Or in this a hole, certainly he's looking to make four at. Yes, good opportunity for Ballesteros here from the middle of the fairway out to the metal wood. Just needs to hit it up the right hand side with a touch of draw. Well, we started it left. And that's not the shape that one would have expected him to have hit, and that's found the right hand bunker. And, well, he'll need a little bit of wizardry from there if he's going to move ahead of the field. Forever testing his swing, and we're going through the routines. So, Peter Baker on 11 under after having dropped that shot has reached 18. Up the hill towards the, the clubhouse, looking for a 3 for a 67, and 12 under par. He could still win it. And let's not forget the first round leader, Peter Mitchell. That is at 12 and 14. Another chance of a birdie here to get to 12 under. Oh. <laughs> And it's a three-way tie again. Peter Mitchell takes over from Peter Baker. At the top of the leaderboard, Mitchell, Rivero and Ballesteros now on 12 under par. Well, he puts down your money and he makes your choice here, eh, Warren? Yes, Peter Mitchell, who's putted pretty well all week. Now Gordon Brown Jr., who's not putted too well this afternoon. but never really threatening and just lost a little bit of confidence after that bad miss on the eighth broke his wedge this week and uh, borrowed a wedge from one of the tournament referees and uh, <laughs> tournament referee can't get it back up ahead on 18 Peter Baker pitched his second shot to the 18th just short of the hole this he must make to tie the leaders very close, just turned away at the death. He has set the pace in the clubhouse on 12 under par with that closing round of 68. Just that one eagle. But, uh, five birdies on the card. For the man who in 1988 Nick Faldo described as the best young prospect in British golf. Well, this was... Seve's bunker shot on 14. And the sand quite gravelly here. And Ballesteros getting right underneath it. That ball stopped very quickly. And not one of Seve's best. Ahead at 17, Rivero putting for par. Pulling a good putt there. He missed a putt for a birdie at the last hole, which would have put him to 13 under. Rivero, 12 under. Let's get back to Semi Ballesteros uh, off tape. This for a birdie. Well, we've seen that a few times today. Sevi being very bold on these greens. And he's left himself an awful lot to do here. We'll keep that tape running. But uh, Peter Mitchell here, his second shot at 16. Nope. Narrow green, the 16th, coming uphill. Players can't see the bottom of the flagstick. Always makes it tough. Back on 14, Seve. To match Gordon Brand Jr.'s par. Survey 12 under, 
Rivero 12 under. Peter Mitchell now 12 under. As the fans stream away to the 15th tee, and Ignacio Garrido can get to 12 under. <laughs> Make it a four way tie again if this one goes in. Not to be. I wonder how good uh, Ignacio is going to be in the years to come. Four players would have been tied for the lead, but it's only three. Rivero, Mitchell and Ballesteros, ahead of Baker, Garrido and Brand Jr. And Ballesteros on the 15th hole. Recovering from that poor start, with those three bogeys, one over par for his round today. <laughs> the crowd willing that ball back onto the fairway. So popular. He won this title in 1981 at El Prat, Barcelona. He won in 85 at uh, Val Romanos. And he's never won the Spanish title in Madrid. Now, yeah, Gordon Brand Jr. Important to keep the ball up on the right-hand side. So you get a clear shot at the green. It's only a drive and a pitch for these players. Position all important. And two good drives there by both players. What a wonderful week of weather we've had here in Madrid. Uh, it was wonderful. A couple of weeks ago in uh, Milan when uh, Sam Torrance won. Garrido on 17. Just An unusual sh short hole, isn't it, Warren? Because you play <laughs> over trees. You don't actually see the green too clearly. Yes, over some cork trees. Very narrow green once again. Just a nine, maybe an eight iron. Just depending on how the players see it. And ahead at 18, Rivero. Virtually a blind shot, isn't it? Difficult just to judge the distance. You know the yardage, but it's uphill all the way. Yes, number of blind shots over these closing holes. Have to know the yardage. Pin cut today on the back edge of the green. Last year it was cut right on the front and a number of players were almost spinning back in towards the hole. That's a much more difficult uh, pin position than the pin position to which uh, Colin Montgomery played last year and won the title. Peter Mitchell at 16, playing out of the bunker well. He's got that for par. Mitchell with only that one victory on his uh, Volvo Tour career card, the win in Austria. Ah, Garrido on 17. Nice putting action, very similar to that of Ballesteros. He studied Seve Ballesteros' swing and play, Olafable's swing and play, and of course his uncle and his father are both professionals. And that, a beautiful putting stroke under tremendous pressure. And uh, it's hard to think, just a few years ago, the English amateur stroke play was his, the Brabazon Trophy, won by nine shots in 92, and here he is in the top flight against the likes of Ballesteros and performing with immense ability. Four-way tie again at the top. <laughs> Garrido in there, Rivero, Ballesteros, and Mitchell. And punch down on that, drove it forward. Lots of spin. And a fine approach shot there by Seve. He's not quite sure how close it is. And a good chance for him to squeeze another birdie out. Looking very, very determined and getting tremendous support from the golf fans here in Madrid. Another head on 18 after his good approach shot. Rivero oh, with a birdie. Good spot to watch it from. But I tell you, this could put a lot of pressure on Seve if this goes in. This is for 13 under. Well, we saw Peter Baker missing that putt coming from the other direction up the hill. And now Rivero misses. And so that for him is around of 68, 276, 12 under par. Yes, fine round of golf, but he knew on that last putt, I think, almost the moment he hit the ball, but it wasn't in. Rose up on it very quickly. Now, a good opportunity, too, for Brand Jr. 
He's got it. You know, despite all his troubles, he's 12 under par, and he's now sharing the lead again. Very, very gritty player. And another important putt, this time from Peter Mitchell on 16. This is to keep in the hunt. <laughs> An Englishman, a Scot, and three Spaniards sharing the lead at the moment and 12 under par. But remember, Seve Ballesteros has the chance to birdie at 15 to break that log jam and move to 13 under. The cheer tells it all. Seve is in the lead on his own. Despite those three drop shots at the start, he's got his nose in front with three to play. What a time to just edge clear of the rest of the, the players chasing this uh, first prize, which also, if you're European, converts into Ryder Cup points. Seve 13 under, Rivero, Garrido, Mitchell and Brand Jr. 12 under. Seve on 16. Very tight, driving home, uphill. Spunkers up the right hand side, but I think that's in play. Okay. So we buy stores in the lead. Garrido and Rivero just in behind. It's a great week for the Spaniards, so it's little wonder they're already beginning the celebrations in the clubhouse. Let's hope it's all not uh, too premature. of the Persia Open to Espana. Sevi Ballesteros in the lead. The second to the 16th. And he'll be aiming somewhere towards that tree in the distance. You can just about see the top of the flagstick, but no more. And that is a fine shot. Well, he may have been lacking a little bit of confidence coming into this event. Right on top form. And once again, Gordon playing from right hand semi. Difficult to control the ball from grass like that, and he could have done with really one club more. Obviously, expecting it to fly out of that grass. And the ball grabbing. Garrido on 18. What a fine tournament he's had. This hole played downhill, just have to drive it into the bottom of the basin, and you're then left with a short pitch uphill, and he's done that perfectly. Back on 17, Peter Mitchell. Warren, that's going right. Bunker. Well, he found a bunker on the last hole and got up and down, and he's gonna have to do it again. There's less sand in that bunker at 17 than there is in the one at 16. Little chip and run coming up from Gordon Brand Jr. Crossing along with the kitchen wedge. A lovely little shot there. Just got it onto the edge of the green. Released out quite nicely. So, chance for him to save par. But this man could put this tournament beyond the reach of everyone if he can hold this putt. He has, uh, we estimate already, made enough Ryder Cup points since last September to make the European team automatically th this year. His performance here this week puts that beyond all shadow of doubt. Kenneth Gallagher has his first automatic qualifier. And still, he continues to be bold my word for Ballesteros. Now, Peter Mitchell has come out of the bunker on the other side of this green. There wasn't much sand in that bunker, and, uh, well, this could prove very costly for... Yes, playing army golf, left, right. <laughs> Seve for par, back on 16. Totally focused. Totally concentrated. He says he's been lacking a bit of coordination, but uh, he's hanging tough. 
Mitchell for a bogey at 17. Well, this crucial torpedo. Oh, and how disappointing on a hole that is so short. Double bogey five. And very, very unlucky to find a bunker with uh, not much sand in it there. Garrido on 18. His pitch. Best to be below the hole if you can. And he's got that awkward putt coming down the hill one. Yes, but at least he was aggressive. At least he tried to attack the flag. It's gone a little bit to the right. Well, with Seve getting his par at the 16th, he's still one clear of Rivero, Garrido, and Gordon Brand Jr. And he could be too clear of them in just a few moments. Great tee shot there from uh, Seve, playing these last holes very well indeed, in contrast to those opening three. Gordon Brand Jr. One birdie on this hole before, and two pars. Really needs a birdie now, but getting an awful lot of spin on that from the front edge. Garrido to get to 13 under and take the lead in the clubhouse and join Seve at the top of the leaderboard. A bold putt again. But, you know, he three-putted this green on day three, missing a putt off about this length for par. Well, as soon as the confidence only gave it a cursory glance, hardly looked at the line. A 69 to add to 67, 66 and 74 for 23-year-old Ignacio Garrido. And he's in the clubhouse from 12 under par with fellow countryman Jose Rivero. And back on 17, the pressure's on Gordon Brand Jr. Yes, a long putt from the front edge, and that never really on line or the right pace. There's the situation as we have it at the moment. Uh, we have once again got an exciting finish to the Spanish Championship. Seve just uh, clear by one, but putting for a two at the 17th. a strange looking putter a strange looking putter and he gives it a wry smile caught a big piece of the hole only the pace kept it out he's been using that uh, since the masters it's another par ready at 15 par at 16 par at 17 13 under one clear and Gordon Brand Jr. has a putt to stay just one behind we could still have a playoff. Well, that's so like the putt on eight. Another one has gone by the hole. And a very disappointing last ten holes for Gordon Brand. And that really means that Ballesteros just needs to par the last hole to win the Spanish Open. Junior back on 11 under. Peter Mitchell uh, up on the 18th, putting for his birdie. He too, like Baker, like Garrido, from the other direction, just missing. So that double bogey at the 17th, spoiling an otherwise fine week for Peter Mitchell. Round in 72, finishing on 10 under par. Tied in the clubhouse with Eduardo Romero, the former winner. The 
Seve on the 13 under just needs one more good drive. Well, this is really just got to hit the fairway, and you can say it's a formality. If anything, there's a formality in this game. And that's in fine position. Seve's uh, former caddy, Billy Foster there, just for a moment, seen on the right, and uh, the new one, Joey Jones, on the left. I suppose, having written Gordon Brown Jr. off, he could hold his second. Stranger things have happened, but he needs something that exciting. Thanks. Mike Bobby, the whole... Uh, and Seve might drop a shot and we might be in a four-way tie. Stranger things have happened. But the bottom line is Seve just needs to make a four to win the first prize of £91,660 and the, the equivalent number of Johnny Walker Ryder Cup points. Important for Gordon Brown Jr. to try and get a birdie to get into that... Uh, Tie for second place with Rivero and Garrido on 12 under. Just a little pitch for Seve and the shot of a master. Well, there may be a little pressure on it for Seve trying to win in his home country, but he makes it look so easy. Tremendous determination to win. And Gordon just waiting for the crowd to settle. There's Antonio Garrido, Ignacio Garrido's uh, father, just waiting in case there might be a playoff. It doesn't look likely now. But what a great week young Ignacio's had. Gordon Brand Jr. someone in the crowd and rolling back towards the green but not onto the putting surface 65 on day three for uh, Gordon Brown jr. he's got a putt from just off the green for 74 today and there he is the man who knows he's going to be champion for the third time of one of the titles he covets most in golf his own Spanish national title event has been played seven times at Club de Campo. And Seve poised to be the seventh winner here. This must go in. This putt worth £15,610. That's the difference between finishing tied second finishing tied fourth and he's got to hold that putt warrant to finish tied fourth that putt for 75 and he will finish off and leave the stage to the winner round of 75 to add to rounds of 71 66 and 65 for Gordon Brand jr. tied fourth on 11 under and Carmen Sevi Ballesteros's wife hoping that this will be Sevi Ballesteros's last putt 71 he was three over for the first three. He was four under for the next 15. And Seve Ballesteros has won the Persia Spanish Open by two shots from uh, Spaniards Rivero and Garrido, by three from Baker and Brand Jr. What a week for the Spaniards in the sun in Madrid. And as he prepares to defend his Volvo PGA Championship at Wentworth, uh, Olathabo finishing on 7-under, joint 15. No duel between him and Ballesteros this week. It might happen at Wentworth. 
Emma Villasieros, the president of the Spanish Federation, presenting the trophy to a very proud Sevi Ballesteros, moving from 49th to 5th in the Volvo Order of Merit, now headed by Costatina Rocca. Mark James, Sam Torrance and Peter O'Malley above it. But it was a tough week and a tough day for Ballesteros. There was a lot of pressure, of course, but uh, I didn't have a good day. Uh, I was uh, glad that the, the day was over, especially because I uh, started with three bogeys in a row the first three holes, and uh, it was very tough. And I have to say that the people uh, really uh, uh, support me a lot all the way uh, this today and this week, and uh, it was great. I think uh, uh, thanks to the people, uh, I managed somehow to win. That is the first automatic selection for the European Ryder Cup team this year, heading the Johnny Walker points table. Two more Spaniards in the top ten, the team shaping up well. Uh, so far the team looks like it's, it's a good team, but still uh, until uh, middle of August we don't know what, which team uh, finally we have, so it's, uh, we have to wait uh, until then and, then and then we can say how good is the, is the team to uh, to manage uh, to win uh, in America. His first win of the year and his 55th on tour. All the more satisfying because he won his national championship, the Persia Spanish Open, in front of his own fans in Madrid. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.